Well, welcome guys, and welcome to another entry from the vault. So today we have Disruptor. <clears throat> so this was released for the PlayStation 1 in 1996, developed by Insomniac, and published by Universal Interactive Studios. So this was the first game developed by Insomniac, even before Spyro the Dragon. This game was a first-person shooter on the PS1, and sadly it was a commercial failure at the time, despite positive reviews. Weapons range from pistols, rifles, cannons, and repeaters. This game also has special powers called psionics, and there's five total. Shock, drain, heal, blast, and shield. Uh, ammo is apparently pretty scarce in levels, so you really have to use your, your ammo and psionics carefully. So Jack Curtis and Troy Alexander, new recruit... Uh, stop that. New recruits of the Light Stormer Corps receive psionic implants upon completing their training missions. Through his training, uh, training performance, Jack is placed comparably to his elder brother and commanding officer Blake Curtis, and their late father, Veer Lightstormer, who was a personal friend of United Nations President Krieger. Blake gets an emergency call. A crew of cryo pirates have commandeered a space station in Jupiter's orbit. Uh, at Blake's orders, Jake goes to the station to deal with the threat and activate the self-destruct sequence. Meanwhile, a mysterious girl named Eve monitors Jack. Okay, so, uh, let's jump into it. Now, the president of United Earth. Hey, look, FMV. In short years, we will enter the 23rd century. And thanks to the policies of my administration, the future never looked brighter. But our colonization of the solar system still has its growing pains. As you already know, I too was once a stormer. Of course, that was many years ago, and we were just pioneering the field of psionic weapons. But my experiences in uniform built a foundation of service loyalty and of courage if you can survive the light storm training you will bear the awesome responsibility of defending global democracy throughout the regions of space who knows perhaps one day you'll find yourself sitting behind this desk as president of united earth and commander-in-chief of the light storm forces okay little brother this is your last chance to change your mind and go home I didn't graduate top ten from the academy to take some desk job, sir. Dad would have been proud of your grades. But school's over, and now the real lessons begin. Are you ready for your first training mission, Private? Sir, yes, sir! It's so bizarre to think that this your was Insomniac's first game. Run the gauntlet and get your butt out alive. This doesn't seem like their Who's style at all. That's the top of your class. Troy Alexander? He seems to know his way around the block. How about you? Will I be getting any psionics, sir? Why would the government waste good money implanting expensive psionic weapons in a cherry recruit? If you don't have the brain power to outmaneuver a few droids with attitude, I never forgive myself for sending you on a real mission. Just remember, think fast, shoot fast, and kick ass. Walk softly and carry a big stick, especially when you sidestep the corners, and you'll do just fine. Okay, so it's kind of similar to Doom. Kinda. Doom is cool. I like Doom. Uh, 
nothing else around here. Ow! Remind me of the training remotes from uh, Star Wars A New Hope. Oh, hello. Uh, let's check out here first. not needed. Okay, so it looks like we got an automatic weapon now. Oh, just like Doom, you could actually move in real time, too. Now, how do I change weapons? Oh. I guess this is just a weapon I have now. Let's go the other way. Hmm. Can't quite hit them from here. Like it. Complete. Cool. I feel like hell. They say the first one hurts the worst. How many psionics did your dad have? I don't know, like four or five. All the psionics in the world couldn't have saved him from that terrorist ambush. That's why you've always got to keep your eyes open. And watch your ass. Well, which psionic did we get, sir? Nothing too shocking. Maybe it's time you tried it out. Now you know this training mission won't be a cakewalk like the last one. 
I want you to get through the chem factory alive. And don't forget, good stormers always think on their feet. Is it gonna do that for every level transition? It does seem like it's gonna do that every time. You'll be facing organic enemies this time. So hunt down the phase rifle and cook them till they're well done. The phase rifle, huh? Okay, so I have the first of the psionics, shock. Oh, oh. Now, how do I use this? Psionics. Oh, there we go. So hold R and R one. Oh, oh, wait, no, I can just push square. Okay. Nice, we got a phase rifle. That's a new enemy. Ah, dang it. I'm hearing enemies. There you are. Got it. Besides the phase rifle at the moment, so it really wants me to use it. So we're gonna have to do some platforming. Okay, that didn't quite work. Oh, little slippery there, dude. Oh. I, I really want to get that ammo. I either go too fast or not fast enough.
There we go. That's what I wanted. Now, is this goop down here going to hurt me? Thankfully not. Ow. There's health packs on the other side of that wall. That was a good shot, kinda. There's goodies back there. But I can't seem to get it from this side. Alright, so the phase rifle doesn't seem to work as well against robotic enemies. Hello? That looks like a secret. But the interact button. Where did you come from? The interact button did nothing on it. Now it sounds like a secret was revealed. Hello? Oh. Where'd the other fly go? There you are. Mission complete. We did it. Didn't kill everything though. Unfortunately. Hey, that was nice going back in the chem lab. <laughs> Real nice. I think you actually beat my record. Thanks. Man, aren't you getting tired of playing these God, games? God, these outfits. I am. <laughs> I say if we're calling it a game, we're still not ready for a mission. Are you kidding Could me? Could they get much more 90s? Man, I haven't missed one trick. Not even that hidden stuff. I'm ready to go. 
Any hints on this next one? Just that you'll be getting a new psionic called Drain. How's it work? You'll figure it out. <laughs> so what's the mission? It's a high-pressure IQ test. They want to see if you can nail the bad guys without blowing away any of the hostages. Hostages? Mm. In the words of your brother, being a stormer, it's more than just kicking ass. Show us you got what it takes, and then maybe, just maybe, we'll send you out on a real mission. <laughs> There aren't enough bullets in the solar system to blast all those terrorists. So use your psionics. But don't waste the hostage droids, or you've missed the point of the mission. All right, here we go again. Oh, ammo doesn't... Ammo doesn't... Ammo doesn't transfer between levels. That's That kind of sucks. Okay, so we can actually restore our HP now, or our psionics, I should say. I have no idea if that hit or not. It's kind of a bummer that ammo doesn't carry over. Did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Hitting something with drain is what makes it drop those things. Ow. Big clip.
no idea where that thing ended up blow blowing itself up at. Did I go full circle here? Looks like I did. Ow. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have gone this way first. Now I'm stuck here. Ooh, my health's looking pretty nice right about now. Continue point reached. Ow. Oh, dang it. That looked like a full health boost there, if I had to venture a guess. There really is no in-between. You're either going full blast or you're barely moving at all. I gotta say, I, I, I kind of wish the shock psionic had a little better range on it. Why do... Am I just hitting the wall there? It's like even touching a wall will kill any forward momentum you would have had. I do not like these self-destructing robots. tried the phase rifle on those things, but I can't imagine it would do any better. At 
least this is a pretty easy way to cheese them. Going back, I guess. Jesus. There aren't enough bullets in the solar system to blast all those terrorists. So use your psionics. But don't waste the hostage droids, or you've missed the point of the mission. Okay, so they won't explode if I just ignore them. That's fair, I guess? Good to know they only add for if you attack them now.
plasma lands. Whoa. Did it. Mission complete. Well, little brother, you made it through with flying colors. You're the best we've ever seen. Other than me, of course. Well, what about Troy? I mean, he's already out on his first mission. Jealous? Look, Troy's a little faster out of the gate than you are, that's all. But he still relies a little too much on what's in his hands instead of what's in his head. Fortunately, that's not a problem you seem to have. So cheers. What is it? A gang of crowd pirates just pulled into orbit over Jupiter. Looks like we've got to find someone to beam onto their base and knock out their anti-gravity engines. I think you can handle this. But before we send you into combat, you're going to need some medical enhancement. Well, I've already taken advanced first aid at the academy. Look, you didn't get all this high-priced training just to get blown away by pirates. We need to protect our investment. Considering the cost of medical care, I think you'll appreciate what I'm offering. Before we send you halfway across space, let's take a trip to the psionics lab. Knock out the control consoles and all three towers to shut down the anti-grav engines. Then head for the exit teleporter. By the time you get home, the station will have disintegrated in Jupiter's core. Oh, I've got a new psionic power now. Heal. I think it costs a lot of uh, SP to use, though. Well, anyway, I think that'll be a pretty good showcase for the game, now that we've completed three levels. Um, it's pretty cool. I, uh... I, I would need some getting it takes some getting used to but especially because of how the controls are because uh, mainly because of the platforming because you either go flying off the handle like that or you just barely get any distance at all when you're trying to jump so that that is kind of a problem and he is a little slippery for like tighter platforms or smaller platforms so that can be a problem but overall it seems like a pretty cool game and uh, it was Insomniac's first game, so I'd say they did a pretty good job with it. So, yeah, seems cool. <laughs>